This tutorial is to teach you how to make a Meko chart without having to use an expensive add-on, um, which admittedly does it much quicker and, uh, and is less manual, but um, this is a free method that I think works very well. Um, the Meko chart basically is a stack bar chart that shows multiple attributes within um, one column. So the width of the column tells you um, a particular attribute. So in this case, it would be market share, whereas the height of the column uh, depicts another attribute, in this case, again, being the amount of distribution through a given uh, channel. So trade shows, third-party stores, branded stores, and online. We are going to create this exact chart using this data here. So the first steps are to get, um, if you're doing a market share and distribution uh, Meko chart, you need total sales in order of um, sales leaders. So biggest sales first, uh, least sales last. You then want to take whatever unit you're in, whether you're in, um, in this case, number of shoes or dollars, you need to convert these to percentages. So for market share, you take a given company's sales divided by total sales. Now what this market share data will do is going to tell us how many rows we need to create um, for a given company. This will make more sense in a little bit here. For distribution, we also need to uh, transition it to percentages, but we're going to do this within the same company. So we want to know the percentage of a given channel for Charby's, so we take their distribution sales to figure out their given breakdown. And the same for all the rest of the companies. So as I mentioned, we need to create 45 rows based on the percentage market share for Charby's. So a little time consuming here. Let's go ahead and drop this down for 45 rows. Radrix will get 25 since they're 25% of the market. Timbo's will get 13. Austin's will get 13. And Bronte's will get 4% or 4 rows. As I mentioned, this is kind of time consuming, but it's also free. Now we want to show for each row that given company's distribution breakdown. One more here. Percentages. And now with this, instead of 100 rows, we're going to create a stack bar chart. But we got to get rid of these 
spaces. Run that to zero. Format access to a one or one hundred percent. And now you'll see because we have so many company names along the whole uh, column here, it shows up along the axis here. So we want to get rid of everything but roughly the middle version of the company name. That wasn't a good job being in the middle, but that would work. cleans things up a little bit here. Now we also have the problem of these bars kind of running into each other so if we want to clean that up we can simply drop in a line in between make it white and thicken it up. And then we can do this across the chart. As well as across the stacked bars to make it look more like this. But for sake of time, you get the point. Here's your Mecco chart. Again, time-consuming solution, but very, very free.